Welcome to another Max QDA video tutorial. This time we're working with qualitative and standardized survey data. In other words, the answers to open-ended or closed-ended questions. In Max QDA, document variables are quite important when it comes to analyzing survey data. So, if you haven't already seen the video on that topic, it would be a good idea to watch it before continuing with this video. In most research projects, survey results usually end up in an Excel table, regardless of whether you filled this table manually or exported it from an online survey tool. So, the survey import function in MaxQDA is basically an Excel file import function. For purely quantitative surveys, you can also import SPSS files and if you have a SurveyMonkey account with all the appropriate rights, you can import your data directly from SurveyMonkey. So let's start by looking at how to import an Excel file. If you have an Excel file with your survey data, the first column will usually contain the number or ID of your respondents, while the individual questions will be listed in the headers of the remaining columns. If your data is already in this format, you don't have to do anything else. You can now import the formatted Excel file directly into MaxQDA. The responses can be added to the document as a text and automatically coded with the respective question, which usually works well for open-ended questions. The responses can also be imported as document variables. For instance, if they're about a person's age or place of residence. For each of these variables, you have to determine the type. And for this, MaxQDA will make automatic suggestions based on the values themselves. The individual cases can now be seen as a single document in the document system. When I open a document, I see the answers to the open-ended questions as texts, coded with the question itself. And in the code system, a new code has been created for each question with open-ended responses. The standardized responses have been identified as variables and can be viewed and edited in the data editor. The Categorize Survey Responses function is particularly useful for larger datasets with lots of responses. Here you can get a quick overview of all responses to a question in a concise table view. You can separate out the top-level codes of questions into subcodes, and you can assign text segments directly to codes via drag and drop. You can also add comments to individual segments here. See you next time, and until then, we wish you all the very best with your MaxQDA projects.